decided to take a day off today, something that I really very rarely ever do. Was going to go down to Toronto. Um, last night, I was just like, ah, don't feel up to it. First day off in a very long time. Figured I'd do a little, little uh, story here about people have been asking all about my tattoos. Um, uh, maybe talk about this one. Glider. Uh, but first, little uh, little update on Armbet because I'm so excited. We're at like 70, we're, we're more than, I think we're more than 7,500 activated accounts. That means active arm wrestlers. We always wondered how many arm wrestlers there are. Well, there's 7,500 activated accounts and about was over 6,000, and this is our bad, 6,000 unactivated. So that means that you've sent, that you've, you've tried to register and, and the process has been screwed up either by us not being able to get you the verification email properly or there's been issues with the password and the password reset. I promise this is being worked uh, through. Anybody who's on that list, try the app again but we'll be fixing everything and most of the problems are fixed already with it so hopefully that number's shrunk soon but app's doing really good three countries in the lead usa is kicking ass with over 2500 uh, people on the app uh, canada is second go canada uh, we're closing in on 900 Hopefully we'll be the next ones to cross the four digit mark. And third place is UK. And I think that you guys are right around 400. So then it's like Germany, Brazil, Switzerland, stuff like that. But it's going really good. We should have our next few features added, uh, hopefully mid-October. That's what we're shooting for. So uh, stay tuned, stay tuned. Well, anyways, tell a little story about this one. And I never had tattoos. Never had them. I was actually kind of against them a little bit. I always used to say, uh, you know, you don't put bumper stickers on a, on a Lamborghini. <laughs> but uh, it was those days are past. And now I, I, I think tattoos, I always kind of thought tattoos were super cool, but now I kind of get, get to have them. And the reason why I get to have them now is because when I was a kid, my brother, super smart guy, my brother was, my brother was a smart guy and I was the guy who had to do the work in, on the farm. Okay, uh, love my brother. Uh, Shannon had, Shannon was an artist, among other things, and he loved tattoos, loved all sorts of body modification. Whole body was covered in tats. Um, some really funny stories about all the stuff he had done, but uh, this this was on his forehead. One of his more prominent tattoos, I always thought. He used to read a lot when he was a kid. He used to be in a fantasy. And he used to tell me the stories that he read. Because I have only read like two books in my life. And I mostly just looked at the pictures. He said that there was this powerful family. And the children we're all very different and we were into Dungeons and Dragons back then so we used to play play that all the time and Shannon always wanted to be a magic user okay he was always a wizard and that's kinda of what he was in real life too and I was always either um, a fighter or a cleric so one of those two things sometimes I was a barbarian but either way I was the guy who was fighting and Shannon, Shannon talked about this story of a wizard called Raslin 
and a fighter called Cameron. And it's, it's really neat how when you're brothers with someone or when you're best friends with someone, how that relationship can be really strong and the words and the ideas that you come up with together, they can shape your life. And, and when he told me that story, we kind of made an agreement that he would be the wizard and I would be the fighter. But also in the story, the way it went was it was understood that if one of the brothers died, that he would somehow be absorbed by the other one and they become like a whole person again. And uh, anyways, that's what happened in the story. And that's why I never allowed myself any tattoos before, uh, before Shannon died. Um, anyways, it's difficult to lose people you love around you. And I'll tell you that, um, that a lot of times you will, you'll just be angry. You'll be angry at that person being gone. But you should never, ever, um, you should never let that diminish what they brought to the world. And um, my brother brought people together. That's the really great thing that he did. Uh, he understood community. Uh, my brother understood that there was strength in all you guys who we brought together. The body modders. You know, I was never in that world, never even a little bit. Went to some of your parties, but uh, yeah, wild group of people. Um, anyways, that's what my brother did. And after he died, I knew that it was something that I had to do as well. I had to try to do it more anyways, whatever. So this, uh, this is, this is, uh, for my brother. That's it. You know, I just try and bring the best parts of them with me. Have a, have a great day wherever you are in this beautiful world.